Hello, everyone. Welcome to Breaking the Huddle. I'm so excited about being with you again today. Greg's been with me for the last uh, few weeks, and he's asked me to join Albert with us and Sean over here, and you're going to enjoy them. And uh, talking about value even, even more. You know, our country today needs a lot of prayer. Let's just face it. It does so much compromise. And I think because... There is so much compromise, I think that equals the lack of value and how we value the cross. You know, uh, Jesus laid it all on the cross for you and for me, and I just don't want us to lose sight of that. Uh, Sean said this the best way just before we came on the air. This is Mike uncut. You know, this is just raw. There's nothing polished about it. You might hear something in the background. I don't care, and don't be distracted by it. We just want to have a fun time here for 12, 15 minutes talking about value. Greg, thank you for coming back. Thank you for bringing your friends with us. And uh, just what's the last few weeks meant to you as we've been talking about value? Well, it's been great. It, it's brought home to me the fact how much I need this. This is the source, the foundation of all value. It all starts with the relationship with Jesus Christ. And once that takes place, I've got to be in the Word. I've got to stay in the Word right? because the Word helps bring value to everything right. in my life. It gives right. me a perspective and a priority about yeah. everything that I do. I believe it's Ephesians that says, I think, chapter 6, I think, Greg, you're, this guy here is such a scholar. He won't admit it, but he is amazing. But it, but it says, sod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I believe that's Ephesians chapter 6. And that's what you're talking about, is that we have to build that solid foundation. And you do that by getting in the Word. What does value mean to you, Albert? Value to me, um, well, just yesterday we had some tryouts for choir. And one of the songs I was going to do, it says, your love is like radiant diamonds bursting inside us we cannot contain. And then hearing you this morning talk about value, I thought what price it took for me to be reconciled to my father. And it made me look at the way that I value my children, my relationships, my friendship, my testimony. Because there's many things that we can do, as your son spoke of. We, we make a pattern of our lives, and what does your pattern show? I value my relationship with God because he valued me and gave his only son to die for me. And you just really brought the whole week or two together in your, in, your, in your word this afternoon, talking Amen. about value. Yeah. We Amen. pay attention to those things that we value. Amen. Uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but my upbringing, um, dad was there, but it was very violent. I had to live away from home my junior, senior, <clears throat> high school. Yeah. Uh, I carry a scar here from being hit with, uh, it was either a hammer or a paint stick. And the score over here, it was one or the other, never called me son, never said I loved you, and I got in a rage. And uh, uh, the good news about that, though, is years down the road, uh, I was able to win my dad to the Lord. And the last 14 years of his life, we were tight. Wow. And, uh, but the, the key to that, value is forgiving. You must forgive. You have no future if you don't forgive. And Amen. I know it's a hard thing to do. Am I right, Sean? I think you're absolutely right, Mike. Um, to me, it's uh, uh, the price is what Jesus Christ paid for all of us. None of us deserve it. Yeah. The value is what we get from that. Yeah. Uh, you can't survive this place on a daily basis like the three of us do uh -huh. uh, without the Lord. Yeah. And by the way, I want to say that these two guys are my two best friends in the world. Uh -huh. And uh, if you saw them on a daily basis, the way they interact with people, the way they teach people, right? These two guys teach every day up here, every day uh -huh. throughout the week in a life that wins, right? Uh -huh. And you know what my job is? I sign them up. Cause <laughs> I don't That's teach, true. right? Yeah, uh, I'm 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 the uh, redheaded school child. Uh, I'm Catholic, so but uh, but I, but 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 my, my mission is everywhere I go, 
I try to sign people up. Now see, that's value. That's, that's, right. that's, that's Jesus Christ getting value from his people in a place that no one else would ever, would ever yeah. want to come to. But we yeah. don't see it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break down some more, Craig, this value and what it means to you and to your friends here. Well, I guess when I think about value, we all think about life. We want to live, everybody wants to live life to the fullest. So when I think about life, and I think uh, it's easy to get, I guess, caught in a, in a circle or in a trap, looking here and looking there, looking to see what maybe other people have or what other people are doing or maybe somebody making parole. But we have to remember that God's timing is absolutely perfect on everything. And what he Good has point. for someone else may not be for me or for this one or for that one, but he's the one that brings it about. And life comes from him. Uh, everything that we experience comes from him. He's the giver of good gifts all the time. So for me, uh, it, it has more to do with getting his perspective on life because mm -hmm. his word, his word gives life. And if I, if I look more in the word and I have his perspective about it, then that changes my viewpoint as far as everything else goes. Yeah. So that makes me see my life for what it is. It's something that he's given me. I want to be a good steward of what he's given to me to do or the responsibilities, but that gives me value. That helps me be everything that I need to be. Mm. So. Amen. Albert, how do you, in this environment, how do you maintain this value of your walk with God? It took a lot. Uh, like when I prayed with you earlier, I thank God. Thank that, you for that prayer. That's your welcome. I thank God that He sent a warrior, a man, to show us how to be a man. Because as I shared with you, I had a father that he was there, but when he was there, it was about beating us down. And uh, I remember as a child, we weren't allowed to cry. And uh, being raised in that environment and never having a birthday, not knowing what Christmas meant, being raised up. I hoarded, I didn't value, I hoarded. But then coming to Christ and realizing that everything that I had been through in life, beaten, betrayed, abandoned, molested, on all kinds of addictive drugs and alcohol, I started valuing my friends because Jesus showed me that this body that we're part of, even if I'm the mucus in the lungs that keeps it from collapsing, I'm part of the body. And that helps me in this place because I was on the phone about a month ago and a friend of mine asked me to tell her why she shouldn't kill herself. And I looked up and I knew I had my friend and my brother, whom I valued, to be beside me. And we prayed for that young lady. And she's stronger because we understand yeah. value of one another yeah. in this body. Yeah. And for you people to come in here and see past who we were to who we are is a true definition of value because he saw past who we were to who we could be in him. And that's how I maintain my testimony and my integrity in the midst of the come-ups and the hustle and the putting it down and picking it up. I value my testimony as a mentor, as a teacher, and as a child of God. And that's awesome. how I maintain it, just keeping awesome. my eye on the cross. Amen. We can't do it by ourselves. No, we, we can't grow on. I'm going to back up here a little bit. My, me my neck don't turn that good that's these fine. days. <laughs> and uh, if you want to pick up on that as we close out this little section, then we'll do another one. Uh, value, uh, you know, it's, it's God's love, the value you get for that. I mean, once you realize that nothing's about you. My whole life is a disaster, Mike, because I had every advantage that most none of these guys had growing up, a great education, military service, uh, but I was so narcissistic, it was, it, it, it was a cancer. Everything's about me. Now everything's about my beloved wife whom I love above everything. I understand what it means to love someone so much that you're willing to sacrifice anything, give up anything. That's right. But I had to learn that from you Jesus value Christ. Your I life. value I yes, I value her uh, in a sense that that uh, I think most men can't comprehend because we've been forced to be apart for so long that uh, we have our ups and downs. But man, every sure. time I get a letter it's sure. a beautiful thing. When I get an email, it's a beautiful thing. When I get pictures, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. 
And so when I hear some guy crying about what's on TV or, uh, you know, he didn't make commissary, man, that's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's just ridiculous to me. Yeah. You know, life is beautiful, man. You got to yeah. learn to live it. And you yeah. can't learn to live it without Jesus Christ. Oh, that's yeah. so good. And that's what this breaking the huddle is all about, is to keep coaching you up that you are somebody, you are God's creation. And he couldn't love you, correct me guys if I'm wrong, he couldn't love you any more this very second if he tried. He is crazy in love with you. And so we are pushing, pushing, pushing this valued lifestyle in a relationship with Jesus Christ. Close us out with something you'd like to share and then we'll go to the next session. Uh, well, Mike, we're just grateful for you and, and all the people that support your ministry. Uh, I don't think the average person has a clue what it takes to put on what you do here for, for three days. So I would encourage that if anybody out there is able to, uh, to help, whether it's volunteer, uh, financial, whatever, whatever it is that you can do to support uh, Mike Barber and ministries like this, they're bearing fruit. You're seeing it right here. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I, Amen. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. And don't move. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Obviously, we're recording this, and I'm going to get all of this that I can possibly get just for you. I'll see you next week. Share with friends and family uh, how to join Breaking the Huddle. Uh, just go to MikeBarber.org, and you can follow directions from there. We love you. And that's coming from these guys here, my brothers in the Lord. We love you a bunch, but more than that, Jesus loves you. We'll see you again next week, breaking the huddle. Amen.